dear students let us learn to solve equations by reducing into linear form take an example from exercise 3.6 i will solve few problems of exercise 3.6 then you can solve the remaining problems i will take second one you learn the method to solve then you can solve first one i will solve second one now solve 9x divided by 7 minus 6x is equal to 15 see here on the left hand side we have 9x on the numerator and on the denominator we have 7 minus 6x see here variable is there on the denominator also this type of equations are not linear equations we have to reduce this equation to linear form then we have to solve see here these are the type of the equations we have numerator and denominator on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have constant part here that is 15 we have to solve this by cross multiplication method now multiply the numerator on the lhs to the denominator on the rhs on the rhs here we don't have denominators if don't have denominators means it is one and denominator of lhs to be multiplied to the numerator of rhs see here 9x is equal to 15 into 7 minus 6x numerator into denominator here don't have denominator so 9x denominator into numerator 7 minus 6x into 15 so 9x is equal to now the equation is reduced to linear form now you can solve 15 into 7 you have to do then 15 into 6x to remove the bracket 15 into 7 is 105 minus 15 into 6x is 90x now bring variable part to the left hand side 9x plus 90x is equal to 105 90x plus 90x uh, 9x is equal to 99x is equal to 105 x is equal to 105 by 99 One out five and ninety nine are divisible by three. Three threes are three threes. Are. Three threes are nine. One remains three five sir. So thirty five by thirty three. X is equal to thirty five by thirty three is the solution. now i will solve fourth one you can solve third one and fifth one after learning the method of doing this see here solve 3y plus 4 and 2 divided by 2 minus 6y is equal to minus 2 by 5 here these are the type of the equations having numerator and denominator on the left hand side numerator and denominator on the right hand side this equations you have to solve by 
cross multiplication method now cross multiply numerator into denominator denominator into numerator so that the equation will be reduced to linear form 3y plus 4 into 5 is equal to 2 minus 6y into minus 2. Now see here 3y plus 4 should be multiplied by 5. That is 5 into 3y. 3y into 5 is 15y plus 4 5s are 20 is equal to 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 minus 6y into minus 2 that is plus 12y. Now you know to solve. Bring variable part to the left hand side 15y minus 12y is equal to minus 4 minus 20. 15 minus 12 is 3y is equal to minus 24. So y is equal to minus 24 by 3. That is 3 ones are 3 eights are minus 8. Learn these type of problems. Now you can solve the remaining problems. That is first one, third one, and fifth one. Let us solve the statement problems of exercise 3.6. Look at sixth one. The ages of Hari and Harry are in the ratio 5 is to 7. Four years from now, the ratio of their ages will be 3 is to 4. Find their present ages. It is given that the ages of Hari and Harry are in the ratio 5 is to 7. See here, ratio of their ages is given. So you have to take, let the age of Hari is equal to 5x. It is a multiple of 5. And age of Harry is equal to 7x. It is a multiple of 7. So that the ages of Harry and Harry are in the ratio 5 is to 7. 5x five is to 7x is 5 is to 7. Now 4 years from now means after 4 years. 4 years. from now what happens to the age of hari age of hari is equal to after 4 years age of hari becomes 4 years more that is plus 4 to the present age that is 5x and age of hari also becomes 4 more now his present age is 7x. So after 4 years that becomes 7x plus 4. Now after 4 years you have to write the equation. What happens? The ratio of their ages. Ratio means divided by ratio of their ages. That is age of Hari divided by age of Hari. First write in the ratio form only, then convert into fraction form. 5x plus 4, ratio of the ages of Hari and Harry, that is 7x plus 4, is equal to 3 is to 4. After 4 years, that is 5x plus 4 and 7x plus 4, the ratio of their ages, 
So 5x plus 4 is to 7x plus 4 is equal to 3 is to 4. Now convert this into fraction form. That is 5x plus 4 divided by 7x plus 4 is equal to 3 by 4. Now we have numerator and denominator on the left hand side. In the right hand side also we have numerator and denominator. For this we have to do cross multiplication method. That is 5x plus 4 into 4 is equal to 3 into 7x plus 4. That is remove the bracket now. Multiply the terms inside the bracket by the terms outside the bracket. 4 into 5x is 20x plus 16 is equal to 3 7 are 21x. Then 3 into 4 is 12 plus 12. Now bring variable part to the left hand side. 21 goes to the left hand side that becomes minus 21x. Plus 16 goes to the right hand side that becomes minus 16. So that 20x minus 21x is equal to 12 minus 16. 20 minus 21 is minus 1x is equal to minus 4. So x is equal to minus 4 by minus 1. Minus by minus is plus. 4 by 1 is 4. Therefore x is equal to 4. Therefore they are present ages. Therefore, present age of Hari, what we have taken here, we have taken as 5x, that becomes 5 into 4 is equal to 20. Age of Hari, what we have taken, 7x, that is 7 into 4, that is 28. Therefore, Age of Harry is 20 years. Age of Harry is 28 years. See here. The denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by 8. If the numerator is increased by 17 and denominator is decreased by 1, the number obtained is 3 by 2. Find the rational number. See here, we have to find the rational number. Rational number means we have numerator and denominator. Do we know the numerator and denominator? We don't know. So let the numerator be 3x. See here, what is given? The denominator of a rational number, denominator, is greater than its numerator by 8 means denominator is 8 more than the numerator. If numerator is x then the denominator is 8 more than the numerator greater than the numerator by 8 that is 8 more than the numerator then after that numerator is x denominator is x plus 8 so what is the rational number so rational number is rational number means we have numerator and denominator so rational number is numerator that is x divided by denominator that is x plus 8. Then after that if the numerator is increased by 17 now numerator is x increase it by 17 means plus 17 and the denominator decreased by 1. Now the denominator is x plus 8 
decreased by 1 that is minus 1. Increase the numerator that is x by 17. Decrease the denominator that is x plus 8 by 1. Then the number becomes 3 by 2 is equal to 3 by 2. Find the rational number. Now x plus 17 divided by here 8 minus 1 is 7. So x plus 7 is equal to 3 by 2. Now on the left hand side we have numerator and denominator. On the right hand side we have numerator and denominator. Now cross multiply. x plus 17 into 2 is equal to 3 into x plus 7. That is 2 should be multiplied for both x and 17. 3 should be multiplied for both x and 7. This becomes 2x plus 34 is equal to 3x plus 21. Now 2x on the left hand side. Bring 3x to the left hand side. That becomes minus 3x is equal to 21 minus 34. So 2x minus 3x is minus 1x is equal to minus 34 minus 21 is 13. So x is equal to minus 13 by minus 1. Minus by minus is plus. So x is equal to 13. Therefore, rational number is equal to what we have taken we have taken x by x plus 8 is our rational number x is 13 denominator is 13 plus 8 that is 13 by 21 so our rational number is 13 by 21 See here, denominator is 8 more than the numerator. That is 21 is 8 more than the numerator. And if I add 17 to the numerator, that becomes 13 plus 17. And decrease the denominator by 1, that is 21 minus 1. Then this is equal to 3 by 2. See here, 13 plus 17 is 30 by 20. 0, 0, this is, is equal to 3 by 2. This is for verification. So we have solved the problems of 3.6.